Hello guys, how's it going? So we are back to another M Creator video, uh, making mods without needing to know any code. So today we are going to be working on plants, mobs, and structure generation. Um, this is going to build into the, ne the next episode for biomes. Um, so we start out everything like we always would, and go to resources, create item slash block texture. Wait for it to load. Okay, so... Ah, uh, work. There we go. Okay, so we are working with a plant. Uh, always set this first one to just something you won't see because you can't change its color. Now, we're going to start off with a plant. So, let's see. Nice plant pictures here. Um, hmm. And let's just be cliche with it and go with some wheat or something. And then we want to color the wheat. Uh, it can be orangish wheat. Or, nah, hold on. Now that is some prime wheat. Now I've got to change the uh, apple thing again to something smaller because it was poking through. And then we go use. It'll be a block. And it'll be the potato plant. And yes, I am aware that it's not a potato. <laughs> okay. Um, the next we want to get a texture for the mob. And actually, I don't think we'll really need to go over that. So let's just go ahead and start with our plant. It'll be the odd plant there we go and okay so we want to put in the texture for this and then use static plant or use growable plant this is like if you want it to be sugarcane then you can put the uh where it grows then static plant i'm pretty sure it just acts like grass you can't make actually like wheat or something that would be cool but you can't actually do it like wheat so we'll go to next Name and GUI, odd plant. Then the hardness, this is, uh, like, if it explodes, I'll save. Yeah. This value, oh, I thought hardness was, it's blow. no, that's what resistance is, okay. So hardness is the variable that belongs to a block. This value tells you how much time it'll take to mine the block. So it's a plant, doesn't need very much. But since this is a special plant, it's awesome, like that. Then resistance is its resistance to explosions, which is not needed to be high, so since it doesn't need to be high, we therefore should set thing. So that's why it keeps doing that. You're welcome. Okay, so you know what is done when on this box here you get the little green letters at the bottom. So we will just wait for those to appear, and I will be right back. Okay, there we go. We got the green letters. Now we can work on our next thing. We will go to mobs next. That is the name of our mob. It's a beautiful name, I know. It's it's, it's very beautiful. Now, um, texture file. Uh, okay, so uh, for texture file, I don't really have anything, so I will probably just go to Han. Okay, guys, so for some reason, um, the thing just crashed on me. Not sure why. Um, so for texture file, I don't know what to put here. Let me just find something on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just found a, uh, Steve skin. Uh, for the model, let's go with, it'll be a Steve chicken. It'll be perfect. Uh, now Techni, this is, if you have the program Techni, you can, uh, import your own models, but I will not be doing that. So then you can change what it is. So monster means it'll attack you, creature. Not really sure. Ambient, just like a bat or something. Water creature, it swims. I don't really see how these matter, but because you'll be changing its AI later. I will just set it as a monster. Steve chickens are evil. And you can change the colors of the eggs. So we want the this dot. We want the base of the egg to be light blue and then like a sort of greenery color for its dots. Because why not? The mob label, what's this mean? I don't know. I don't know why I don't know what this means. I know like all of these mean. I'll just put potato for now. Name of mob. Steve. Oh, wait. Steve chicken. Perfect. Behavioral characteristics. Uh, water mob, you know, swims. Flying, it flies like a blaze. Creature, still not sure. Mob and is probably evil. I'll go with mob. Attack strength. Oh, I wanted the... Whoa, 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 whoa. They misspelled strength. They misspelled it. They're evil. 
Strength. Uh, five million. Movement speed. Five million. I'll probably just set it to like point twenty-five. That's probably like a normal thing. Mob equipment. What it wears. Okay, it has a uh, diamond helmet. Boop. Uh, it wears fire because it can. And some chainmail boots in the uh, leggings slot, because that's a good idea. And for the weapon, I don't know. Okay, health. It'll have... It's immune to fire. That's what this check mark means. For health, let's just go with 20. I, I keep forgetting when I hit the zero, it ends the recording. So now it has two health. Mob drops. Rare drop. Uh, Normal drops will just be bricks, because it wants to. And it's rare drop. I don't know, we can set this for anything. Let's set it to, what is this? Uranium, it drops uranium, because it can. Okay, experience, this is how much experience, does it give me a chart? No. This is how much experience it'll drop. I don't know how much experience is experience, so I'll just give it this much experience. That's crazy. I'll just give it like one. Hold on, where's my delete button? There we go, I'll just give it one. <laughs> Living sound, this is the sound when it's alive, it just makes while it's walking around, I don't know. It'll be Bat Idol. That needs to be a show, like American Idol. Bat Idol. Hurt sounds, this is uh when it takes damage. When it takes damage, it'll sound like a piston going out. And when it is dead, I want to find an explosion. Uh... I'll just put everything. It'll sound like everything. And these are events that you can do when it, um, when stuff happens to it. So say you want it to change into another mob when it's struck by lightning. Well, when it's struck by lightning, you can do that. Um, don't want to go into anything too complicated here, so I'll just show you. And I think in one of my other videos I've gone over what these do, so you can check that out. Um, has AI, you need to define, yeah, you can, uh, check this and then you can add diff your own custom tasks. It'll wander. That's all it does. It wanders, and... Where's kill per person? Act aggressively against... Where's the player? Player! There we go, that's all it really needs to do. Check if this mob is boss. Yes! That would be cool. Uh, its AI will be based on... Zombies! So, you probably don't really that. It'll just act like a zombie. Next. Spawn. No, not spawn. Spawn probability. Does this have a chart? No, I'm expecting everything to have a chart now. Okay, for spawn probability, uh, 20 is probably good. Minimal number of mobs. Uh, this is when they spawn in groups. So, like, each time it spawns, there'll be between 3 or 30 mobs. We want it between, like, 3 or 5 or something. That's, 30 is way too many. Um, or is it like that? Hold on. I think that's how it is. Only on specific biomes, so you can uh, see which biomes you want. But I'll let it spawn everywhere. Does mob spawn in dungeons? Nope. That says mob. Mod, not mob. Alright, now we just wait for the uh, green letters, and we will be right back. Okay, we got the green letters. And now let's go to our final thing. Bam, 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 structure generation. Okay, so let's just do random structure. Okay. Now, spawn in the air. Um, sure, it can spawn in the air. Oh, it means spawn air blocks. That means um, any air blocks will also spawn. So, like, I don't know how to explain this really. Can I explain it better? No. Okay. It basically means air, the air blocks in the schematic will spawn with it. Okay. Check for room before spawning. Don't check for what? Oh, this means it'll check um, if there's like, space to put it, so it won't put it underground or something. Um, now, a schematic, what you do is you go into MC Edit, and once you built something in Minecraft, you go to MC Edit, you can, like, highlight it, and then you click the Export button. There's probably tutorials all over YouTube. I don't know. I may make one. If I do, you can click anywhere on the screen, and it'll take you there. Okay. Now, um, I have schematics already, so I will go find those and be right back. Okay, so I have put a uh, schematic I've made. Um, spawn probability, number of structures per this many chunks. That is how many zeros? One, two, three. One million, dang. 
Well, I'm gonna have to put a million. Oh, also, since I kept pressing zero so much, I finally changed it. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do two million, because I want to be able to find it, you know, to show you guys. Spawn location. Ground, air, underground. I'll put ground, so it's above ground. Spawn world type. This means the uh, surface world or the nether. You want it on the surface world. Restrict spawn per block. I'm not sure what this means. Um, hold on. I think this means only if there's a hundred percent of like it. so it doesn't destroy any blocks where it goes. Alright, spawn block type if restricted. I think this means you can uh set it to only one block to spawn. Yeah. Oh, that's what it means. You click this and then you set the block that it spawns for. Okay. Restrict spawn per biome. I want it to spawn in all biomes, so. Finish. Now we wait for the green letters, and then we can go test this out, and I will be right back. Oh, by the way, this is pretty much like a waiting game for just waiting for the green letters for the other stuff. Just to let you know. There we go, it's open. Um, just keep in mind, never make more than one world on here, or it just doesn't seem to work. I don't know if they change that in a future update, because I'm still on one of the older versions. Um, but that's just a general thing for me. And we're- Ah, oh, come on, I would leave myself dead. That's just something I would do. Okay. There we go. Now we can fly! Okay, so what all we changed? We added plants. So let me find some bone meat. Oh, there's my Steve chicken. Let's see how he's doing. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. And there you can see the uh, health bar. Uh, Steve chicken, what you doing, buddy? He's got a little gray thingy flying above him. Okay, so if I go into game mode S, will you hurt me? Hey, Steve Chicken. Oh my goodness, it's painful. Die, die, Steve Chicken, die. Okay. Oops. Alright, so next thing is the plants. So let me find bone meal. Where is that? There we go. So I set it to a high probability. We should be able to find it pretty easily. Also, just as a general rule, I have had problems with plants before. Like, not working properly, so they may not work on here. Um, I'm gonna try and go to a far-out world, um, and then I'll be right back. Or, uh, anyways. But I don't know, plants just don't generally work for me when I try them out on here and stuff, and let me change it to die. Or, day. I've been messing up my words all day here. Alright. Okay, so setting it to day did not seem to work. There's my plants! See? They do work. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why they're not spawning when I do the bone meal. But they are here. They're here. There's my plant. Then if I break it, I forgot I'm in creative mode. There we go. Uh, this will be really laggy, because it's running through another program. If you're wondering why Minecraft is really laggy and stuff. So just give it a second to get ready. If it doesn't crash, that is. Uh, I'll be right back if it doesn't crash. Okay, it didn't crash. Let's break this. I set it to a long busting time, so. Oh, come on. You're going to be a meanie like this. Don't be mean to me. Come on, break. There we go. Now we get dozens of sponge. We can spawn lots of stuff, like. Like nothing. Okay, and then the last thing we had tried out was. What was that? I've completely forgotten. Oh, yeah, we made the uh, structure, so let's see if we can find that. See? Um, hmm. Oh, by the way, we may not be able to find the structure, but I'm still pretty sure it'll work. But, I don't know. Structures are rare and stuff, so. But that is how they work, and, uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And as always, I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Oh, and, uh, don't forget to watch the next episode if you want to see biomes. Goodbye.